exposed to an antigen. So, what could be that person who is repeatedly exposed to some antigen? For example, um, farmers exposed to actinomycetes that is a hay fever or um, the cheese, um, uh, cheese workers their lung or some other such antigens that are just continuously uh, incorporated in the body. There is, uh, there is an um, induced anomaly as well, as well and that is for example, tetanus injection if that is given the next booster dose is to be given after 5 years. If the next dose is given before 5 years now we already have the antigens and then more antigens uh, antibodies are already present and more antigens are injected. So, all those cases there needs to be a repeated exposure after that there is enough IgG developed there is enough IgG against the exposure exposed antigen there is repeated exposure to an antigen enough IgG is developed in the body and then with further exposure reaction occurs. Now, that reaction is local with the further exposure local reaction occurs. For example, if tetanus or diphtheria antigen is given for the vaccination and there already was a sensitization then the local hemorrhage and necrosis can occur. And this is actually a USMLE question as well that somebody is given an immunization uh, injection and then that person comes back with the sore you know arm and the area what, what happened there Arthas reaction occurred there. So, Arthas reaction is defined as local subacute type 3 hypersensitivity reaction occurring in a localized area. So, again this is immune antigen antibody complexes deposited in one part antibodies are already present which antibodies IgG they attack and that area becomes sore. Serum sickness on the other hand named after the serum when the serum used to be transfused and there was not much knowledge of the differences in the human tissue uh, antigens and the sickness would start occurring. Nowadays there is serum sickness is really rare, but the serum sickness is more systemic. Nowadays it is seen after the drugs and here one thing that I did not mention here this occurs Arthas reaction occurs within 3 to 6 hours of injecting an antigen. This occurs within 6 to 15 days after expose, exposure to the antigen. Why? Because when the antigen is coming into the body it allows the antibodies to be developed antibodies development takes 10 to 15 days 6 to 15 days once the antibodies develop only then the antigen antibody complexes will form only then the complement activation would occur and systemic issue would occur. So, serum sickness this is your key when you are looking at the USMLE questions did it occur within 3 to 6 hours or did it occur within 6 to 15 days. So, if a child comes to a doctor after having sore throats for about 2 weeks before 2 weeks and now he comes to the doctor and now he has gotten some renal problems or he has gotten swelling and edema and those you would be seeing that this is a type of the serum sickness or post streptococcal for example, glomerulonephritis. So, these are the two typical types of the type 3 hypersensitivity reactions. Now, let us see what are the typical pathologies. So, the pathologies or abnormalities associated with the type 3 hypersensitivity reactions we will start from here. There are glomerulo, glomerulonephritis and I actually I think I forgot to explain this that whenever there is type 3 hypersensitivity reaction of the overwhelming type or active reaction at that time complement levels complement levels will become reduced. So, hypo complementinemia will occur why will that happen this is a USMLE question that there is a person with the allergic reaction or hypersensitivity reaction and has gotten less complement what is the reason 